Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I'm your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Taurus in mid-August 2020. What's going on, Taurus? How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. All right, guys, welcome to mid-August. No matter where you are in the world, I am wishing you happiness, your own safety and security, and health as well. Good health for everybody, okay? Uh, pandemic is still a thing, so please continue to take care of yourselves and others that you know and love, and hopefully we can all get out of this sooner rather than later. <laughs> but, you know, here we are. It's mid-August, like six months. <laughs> anyway, uh, Taurus, if there's anything that you need from me, you will find it in the description box. If you want the timestamp for when this reading begins, that's down there. Go ahead and click it. That's what I put it there for. If you want a personal reading with me, how to get that is down in the description box below as well. If you have a question before you place an order with me, just email me at the same address and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And if you want the link for my Instagram, check out when I do Oracle readings over there. Uh, that name is Empathic Fire Tarot, but the link is down below as well if you want to go ahead and find me over there, okay? All right, guys, let's get into it, all right? Messages for Taurus in mid-August 2020. Mid-August 2020 messages for Taurus, please show me. Bridge, okay. Let's see. Messages for Taurus, please. No. Hmm. All right. The world slid into the side position. I'll leave it there, but it doesn't feel like it'll stay that way. We'll see. Anything else for Taurus? Or excuse me, additional, okay. Oh, four. All right. So we're going to take it like that. So the Fool, Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands all together. And then the World card came out again in this halfway position. So let's see if that is actually going to stay that way. Let's see. Which way for Taurus, please? like that okay so up and I feel like these three came out purposely together so we're gonna read it that way so the world card represent uh, represents excuse me uh, particular endings in in your life or in a circumstance that you, that you're inquiring about uh, almost called you Virgo I just did their reading but uh, Taurus excuse me uh, this is secondary major for Capricorn you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a fixed sign Taurus Leo Scorpio or Aquarius uh, you don't have to be dealing with any of those signs but I feel like this is pretty positive for you, Taurus. It feels like a positive uh, completion point. It doesn't feel like because this is, you know, also associated with the planet Saturn as it, it as a, that's the ruler of Capricorn. And Saturn is all about life lessons or karmic lessons. Right. And the goal of Saturn is to basically <laughs> give you like a like a report card. You know what I mean? Um <laughs> I'm sure many of us can relate to, you know, going to school and, you know, either awaiting or dreading getting that report card because you kind of already know what's up, right? In most cases, if you cut a bunch of classes or you didn't complete projects and you weren't doing so well on those tests, you could probably guess that you're not going to get a good grade, yeah? If you were acing the test, if you turned everything in on time, you were punctual, you never missed a class, you should be expecting an A, right? I kind of feel like you are aware of what lessons you've completed. I feel like you know what your quote-unquote grade is. We're not actually graded in, you know, <laughs> those terms or with that analogy by Saturn or the universe or anybody truly, or maybe you feel you're being judged in that way or graded in some type of way. But uh, the bigger message here is I think you're very aware of what you've gone through, what you were meant to, maybe you don't know like the entire lesson, like maybe you're not a hundred percent sure on what you were being challenged with or why you were being challenged with it. But it feels like, you know, a good portion of you know a fair amount of what has transpired in your life and why it has transpired in your life. Some of you are quote unquote students of the spiritual, you know, esoteric space, mysticism and, and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of have your theories 
and your theories seem to be coming true, or at least you feel affirmed in what you've been learning, right? So this feels very positive for you guys. Um, and I mean, it's not just because it's in the upright, because it slid out, it kind of slid on the table like that, right? It like initially was upright and then it went to the side position. And I asked and I verified to see if it would stay in the side because that can be significant sometimes in a reading. But they clarified that no, it should be upright. It should be upright. So maybe some of you are turning a corner, right? Maybe where before you didn't really feel you were ready uh, to, it feels proactive. Here, here's where I'm clarifying this or why I'm going down this lane. It feels like some of you are proactively ending something. With a Taurian, okay, again, fixed energy is also here in the world, and Saturn is about sometimes hard knock lessons. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so what they're showing me is like an unfortunate scene, but I think many of us can relate, not like in a firsthand experience, but we have seen like when people are punished by their authorities, so like police, parents, teachers, what have you, the experience can come with like literally being knocked upside the head. I myself, as a child, was knocked upside the head a couple times, right? No, no, no bad blood to the people that did it to me. Hi, mom. No, she's not watching. <laughs> but anyway, there's no like, you know, bitterness for me. But that's what this feels like. It feels like you're avoiding being knocked upside the head, some of you, or some of you got knocked upside the head by karma, by the situation that you're involved in, by, you know, hopefully not actually literally physically this happened, but you kind of had an aha moment where, you know, <laughs> that phew, right upside your head kind of made you realize, oh, this has to go. Because again, with the completion, the, the, the feeling of completion uh, being there. So this has to go, or I have to go, or I got to change this in my life, and this has to be wrapped up, and oh, I got to finish that project, or oh, I got to make sure that, you know, <laughs> I got to sever those ties completely. Or someone did this to you, by the way. This can, this can be flipped because it is a general. So there's a realization, and possibly even a subtle, subtle appreciation that this has happened, or this is finally transpiring in your life or finally you know again wrapping up yeah now all these came out together so again what were they the fool major arcana for aquarius you could be dealing with an aquarius but you don't have to be okay six of pentacles and then the queen of wands fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius don't have to be dealing with any sign that i mentioned but if it fits it fits good for you so what I see here is some of you might be moving towards initiating some type of contact with, because the, the fool is like super fresh to me, like super like right out, <laughs> like right out the box fresh, you know, like, you know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love opening packages. <laughs> and it's like that. It's, even if you know what's in the box, even, you know, you know what's in that Amazon box. You ordered it like two days ago, you know, or yesterday. You know exactly what's in that box, but you're excited to open it. That's what this feels like. Newness, like it's a new presentation or a new, um, just something in your life. Could be a person. Um, but I feel like there's this, like, embracing of newness embracing and 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 looking forward to what is unknown you know the fool carries no baggage as you can see our kitty cat rose <laughs> in her cheetah print um is carrying no packages really she's got that little hand purse what do you call that handbag hand purse i, I don't carry a purse so i don't know <laughs> handbag i think is what you call that or clutch Ooh, look at me look at me knowing fashion all of a sudden <laughs> i'm kidding of course um so yeah, carrying very little going forward towards a ledge that's hovering over water without a care in the world. Now that can be perceived as a foolish act. That can be perceived as being dangerous or reckless. But the energy behind this person could be you, could be someone else. Um, in many of your cases, it feels, in the majority of your cases, I, I should say, it feels like you, Taurus. It feels like you're doing this. You are embracing the newness. You're embracing the unknown. You're embracing what you haven't experienced and you're like looking forward to getting up. Oh, look at that. Getting up to trouble is how they uh, wanted me to say that. But good trouble, maybe. Ah, shout out John Lewis. <laughs> anyway, um, Six of Pentacles. 
coming out with it. So that feels like, in some of your cases, look at her, she's carrying packages. What was I just saying? So some of you, you might be spending money, you might be indulging or, or giving yourself a certain gift. I could see a Taurus doing that. If a Taurus feels they've done a good, feel feels as though they have done a good job completing a cycle in their life, getting over some type of hurdle or, you know, walking away from something or allowing some something or some person to walk away from them, I could see them being like, I deserve a little treat. <laughs> um, so... You know, as long as you're not like going ham on it, go ahead. I support that. Um, you know, because buying gifts for the self is a form of self-love. It is a form of taking care of yourself. Um, a lot of people, I don't do it because I, 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 I haven't found the value in it. But some people are like, send yourself roses, send yourself flowers. So some of you might be doing that. Um, if it's not about you doing that for yourself, I see that you're wanting to fully embrace some sense or some relationship, some connection, some activity of reciprocity, uh, particularly um, regarding gifts. In some of your cases, maybe this is a collaboration. Maybe this is like a working uh, situation or, or a project that you're trying to get involved in. Uh, could be volunteerism because, again, with this fool, uh, <laughs> specific to this particular uh, fool card in this deck, I don't get the sense that... <laughs> Like, I get the sense, like, some of you might have a lot of money for some reason. Uh, more money than you know what to do with, maybe. And as such, you kind of can pursue your life's fancy. You can you can kind of, you know, be fun and fancy free <laughs> because you don't necessarily have to hold down a regular job, okay? And that's not a knock. It's, you know, hey, congratulations. That's your walk in life? Perfect. So I feel like some of you might have plenty of time money, resources on your hand to get involved in certain volunteerism, certain philanthropic endeavors where, you know, you just want to do a good deed and you want to be around people who can return that good deed. Or, uh, because that's the other thing about the Six of Pentacles, as much as we're looking for re reciprocity, we also want to give. You know, Blanche is carrying these presents, and sure, they might be for her in, in, in one way of reading the card, but they also could be for people that, you know, we don't see in the in the image right so it's something like that or it could be you know either of those 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 uh readings or interpretations and then you get the queen of wands at the end <laughs> good old sophia <laughs> so you might be coming into partnership in whatever form or fashion that means uh let's just say connection if not uh uh, if not partnership, it could be a connection with a fire sign person. They don't have to be, but this person is behaving like a fire sign. So if you know anything about what an Aries Leo or Sagittarius acts like, and this person is like, oh, but I'm a cancer. They, well, <laughs> maybe they're born on the cusp with Leo, but you know, it's like a could, you could have fooled me type of energy. Um, the person who's around you or who, or who you will be encountering soon, once you start in on that new path, very passionate very strong. Um, <laughs> this is somebody who could be a little tongue in cheek. Like if you know this show that this deck is based off of the Golden Girls, um, this character right here, Sophia, sarcastic queen, savage queen. All right. There's clips of her going in on YouTube, her and Dorothy. But Sophia is just like a little bit like a, like just a little bit more clever <laughs> than Dorothy at times, or her zingers are just like so much more potent. So this person, ace when it comes to that. They're amazingly uh, charismatic. They could be they could be perceived as being like a jerk or you know an sob or something like that in some of the ways that they communicate. But it comes from a loving place. It comes from a place where they're not actually trying to hurt anyone's feelings if they're showing criticism. And that's, a, again, going back to, you know, what's here on this on this card. Sophia, as a character on that show, she spends like 90% of her time tearing down her daughter and tearing down Rose and Blanche. But there are moments where she gets really sentimental. So that's what I'm saying. This person might have like a very tough outer shell, but they're a big old creamsicle on the inside. They're very uh, soft. They're very, again, sentimental. There's somebody who looks out for their own. And once they deem you as their own, whether this is a boss, a friend, a loved one, a, a new dating partner, whatever. Once they say you're my person or I'm going to take care of you like you're one of my people, they mean that. 
Okay. So very, uh, they have strong integrity, but you might not be able to recognize that initially because they're so, <laughs> they, they could have a silver tongue. They could have, you know, quips for days, shots for days. Interesting. Uh, let's get some more information for Taurus, please. Regarding the situation, further details and information for Taurus regarding the situation. They don't have to be a female also. I, I don't think I mentioned that. Just because it's a Queen of Wands doesn't mean it has to be a female. They could be a male or whatever gender they are. Okay. Be open-minded, people. Four of Wands, yes. Further information for Taurus, please show me. Hey. That's too many, but I'm gonna note it because there's three, and we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and read another four cards. Um, but I'm gonna note that the two of cups did come out. Okay, we're not gonna take it. Sorry, <laughs> and I'm not even gonna look at the other cards either. But I will note that the two of cups was visible. If it needs to come back out, it'll come back out. Further information for Taurus. Oh, eight of swords. Okay. So that's a little bit of a curveball because this has been a, a pretty high vibey reading. But then we got that as like a, a hmm, four of wands, eight of swords. Okay, listen. In like one or two cases, maybe somebody's getting out of jail. Maybe that's, you know, a home, uh, uh, what do you call that? A reunion, a homecoming, you know, come on home. Thank you, thank you, county, for taking care of our relative or my, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, whoever it is. But thank you very much and welcome on home. Something like that for like one person maybe. Um, but the Four of Wands speaks to happy homes, stable homes, uh, the place where you feel comfortable to, you know, <laughs> take off your shoes and socks and maybe walk around without a bra if you're a lady. <laughs> and then the Eight of Swords is like traditionally about being blinded and and stuck in a way that isn't true it's like self-perception it's like self-sabotage it's like negative self-talk um it could be you know for you Taurus this could be the difference between where you are and where someone else is you could be the eight of swords they could be the four of wands or vice versa you know take your pick but it feels like maybe um as you get to going on I'm going to take it this way, but it can be reversed. And this whole time it could have been reversed. But I'm going to talk about the Four of Wands as if this is happening for Taurus. You could be solidifying something, a business relationship, a new romantic relationship, reuniting with friends or family, whatever it is. And you're having a good time. And again, if you're celebrating, please be careful. It's still a pandemic, okay? And there could be someone on the outside who feels deserted interesting okay deserted abandoned not invited maybe straight up <laughs> this person didn't get an invite and they or you kind of have a clear idea as to why and that still doesn't sit well with this person like i wanted an invite i wanted to come to the party why didn't i get an invite oh yeah that's why and they're still like but i wanted to go anyway it's like Okay, <laughs> remember what I was saying about the report card earlier in the in the world card. So maybe this is you, Taurus, who knows? But this person over here is like feeling like a victim, even though they're not. Again, the Eight of Swords is when you convince yourself of your situation and it's just not true. You know, it's just not the full story. You don't have the full picture because you're blindfolded, for God's sakes. And so this person here... Um, it, again, it could be you, but I'm going to say it's not you. So this is like a friend. This could have been the, uh, someone that you've ended things with. This could have been somebody who was at that, you know, previous stage in your life and they feel annexed. They feel as though they're not a part of whatever is happening now or whatever is upcoming for you. Rightly so. If like we ended a friendship, if we ended a partnership, if we ended, you know, maybe we used to work together. Maybe this was like your best friend at work, but then you moved across state lines and you're like having a good time setting up a new shop wherever you're living. And this person is just like, come back. Why? I moved like 500 miles away. What are you talking about? Like, you know, so there's someone in your midst and look at like how they're morphed out. Really, everything else on this table is moderately, if not majorly more positive than this is. 
So don't worry about this person. I mean, if you if your friends, if you want to try and maintain some type of uh, good relationship with them, by all means, go for it. But they don't feel central to whatever you're moving towards, Taurus. You're shifting into a whole different lane. This person is still, you know, <laughs> you know, riding a bike with training wheels or something like that. This per whoever that is, this late comer to the story, don't worry about them too much, okay? Let's move on and get you an Oracle card and then we're gonna wrap this up. Oracle card here for Taurus, please, in mid-August. Oracle for Taurus in mid-August, which one? We've only got two decks this month, so, or this mid-month. Taurus, mid-August, yeah, okay. Goddess Guidance. Ooh, I'm hungry, it's time for dinner, yay! <laughs> All right, let's get a, an Oracle card for Taurus, please. Oracle card for Taurus at this time. Oracle message for Taurus, please. All right, that was kind of sloppy, but we'll take it. <laughs> One card for Taurus, please show me. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll mention that before I actually read the Oracle card. One card for Taurus, please. One Oracle message for Taurus, please show me. Come on. Why don't you want to give Taurus a card? There it is. Thank you. See, the moment I start talking shit, that's when I get the card. Um, Before I read this, I want to mention, if this person, like I said, was from that past uh, situation, whatever chapter was closed out for you guys, these three together, again, signify that. Walking away to new paths, wanting to be involved with situations where people can fairly give where people can reciprocate freely and it's fair and it's even right and you might and you again you want to work with someone who is strong in their principles but also has a big heart or at least that's what you will be doing and this person is just sitting off on the sidelines you know they're not a part of this story anymore is the part is is the bigger um <laughs> takeaway okay now your oracle message hey aphrodite inner goddess Awaken the goddess within you through dance, <laughs> dance, self-care, buying little treats and gifts for yourself, and appreciating your divinity, possibly with the fool card, possibly with the queen of wands. Very good. Um, anything else before I turn to the book here? Uh, some of you, green is your color. That's very... Listen, this is like the most fashion forward <laughs> freaking reading I've ever done. I'm not a fashion person. I don't, I can barely dress myself uh, without looking, you know, like I'm homeless. <laughs> anyway, uh, for some of you, green might be a very good color for you. You might want to try that out. Uh, that's like really specific. Uh, or you, you purchased something green very recently. Um, and that's, again, green is a lovely color. It's, a, it's attached to the heart chakra. So cool. Uh, anyway, what else can we get here for Taurus? Well, no matter who you are, male or female or any other gender, you got to pay attention to your feminine side right now. Feminine side is not just, you know, to deal with the biological makeup of, of a woman. Like I said, no gender is, is included here. But the feminine energy that exists in all people is about nurturing is about abundance, is about receptivity, is about creation or creativity, but, you know, again, with like a feminine skew to it or a feminine twist on it. I feel, again, some of you might feel compelled, like, again, with giving yourself flowers, maybe not only that, you want to start a garden. Gardens, what? It could, sus it could give sustenance to you if it's a vegetable garden. It can be sustenance for insects and other creatures if it's a if it's a flower garden or a vegetable garden whatever but there's something about getting in touch with possibly the earth uh the natural world that would be really helpful to you in other cases this is about going to get laid you need to go handle that and um, again i don't advise to do that in the middle of a pandemic all willy-nilly make sure you take all the precautions 
uh, if you're gonna if you have a need to do that, uh, or you could you know take care of that need yourself. Scratch that itch all on your own if you need to. But yeah, I'm yes, I'm also getting like definite like carnal satisfaction. And some of you that doesn't mean sex or anything like that. It could it could mean you know going to see you know an opera or something like that. Who knows? Anyway, let's get into the book. Allow your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you and guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to be aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Balance your male energy with more feminine energy. Take steps to heal your sexuality. Mm -hmm. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more often. Be receptive. In relationships, allow your softer side to come to the surface. Don't hide your femininity. Dress in a more feminine way, for example. Okay. Basically, me and that card were in sync, right? <laughs> um, again, uh, treat yourself well. You know, you, you've, you've completed whatever you needed to complete. That chapter is over. New chapters, you know, take like a two-week vacay or, you know, some some semblance of a break. Get yourself recalibrated. Open up your to your more feminine side, no matter what your gender is, and really and savor the lesson that you've learned, okay? Taurus, that is your reading for mid-August. If you liked it, the like button is down below. Go ahead and hit that for me. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how this uh, resonated in your life. Please do so down below. Feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel, friends, if you haven't subscribed. That'd be super, super cool of you. Super, super cool. <laughs> All right, Taurus, I'll be back soon with the uh, September readings, mid-September after that. Uh, again, if you want to get at me for a personal reading, you can find that information down in the description box below. And be sure to check out your playlist uh, for Taurus or any other playlist I have on the channel for other content in case you missed any messages from me earlier this year or any time last year even. Who knows? All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.